Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones with Engine Builder. Today, we're in Chuliota, Florida, checking out Mike Ford racing engines. I'm joined by a shop owner, Mike Ford. And this right here is a supercharged 427 cubic inch small block Chevy, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One and L-Ring DOS Original. Mike, great to see you. Uh -huh. Thanks so you. much for uh, letting us come into the shop today and check out what you guys have been, uh, been okay. working on lately. And mm -hmm. you know, right here, this is one of the examples of uh, one of the engines that you guys will, will do pretty commonly. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you would, give us a little uh, history about this particular engine, you know, what, what was it in the shop for? The only thing it was in is a bracket motor and a dragster, and they run it in a 55 Chevrolet for a while, bracket racing. Okay. So about the only thing we reused basically is the block, the block and the, and the uh, crank. Okay. So everything else we built That's new right. from there on this to change it all over. Very cool. To this combination before cool. it was just a carbureted deal, you know. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like he's, this person's been a, a pretty long time customer then if they've had a couple iterations of it. Uh, yes, he, we probably have done, I think he probably has five or six motors from me. There's only small block and all the rest are big blocks. Yeah. 555s, 565, 582s. Okay, and again, this, this is a 427 small block Chevy. Uh, so tell us a little bit about it. You know, what, what kind of work did you guys put into it and, and what kind of components do you have inside? Well, it's a four inch stroke, so it's a dark block. We got Molnar cranking rods, um, JE pistons, um, we used, uh, it's the Profiler CNC ported heads. Very nice. Um, 235cc or whatever. Okay. Um, all Jessel rockers, valve train, all BAM lifters. Okay. Um, bullet cam, um, all Jessel drive in the front. Um, Very good. The, the 192 supercharger. Um, with the extra small pulleys, and we had to put all the belt guards and all that stuff to make right. it legal to run them in, in the dragster, even though you got a lot of room, but you have to have that too. Right. They want a belt guard for them guys in the dragster. So. Right. Yeah, set up with a vacuum pump, uh, Moroso stuff here, Moroso pan, uh, BLP downtown, uh, did all the fuel pumps stuff for okay. it. So, yeah, because alcohol. Very good. And then uh, the, the Bucko. Uh, Adapter to run, uh, uh, I think it's got like a 1650 Dominator alcohol carburetor to run. With a supercharger, how much boost will the customer typically be using on the track? Um, with the pulley setup, we should be making, I think they're hoping for around 10, okay. 10 pounds. Yeah. Because you can go back and then now they make high helix rotor kit to put in them. So that can increase it some more too and then yeah. next stage down the road exactly and then you know with 10 pounds of boost you know what does that equate to in terms of how much horsepower they might make we're hoping the thing's over a thousand you know it should be over a thousand horsepower with the boost and all okay. is our plan yes very good very good and then are they running any particular type of fuel then this will be on alcohol alcohol mm -hmm. okay very nice yep. very nice mike anything else in the in the build here that we're leaving out ati balancer okay um, you know, all RCD stuff here. Yeah. Um, you, know, you know, like I said, these guys like keep everything charged up so we run a power master alternator and all on it too. Okay. So, you know, get all this stuff here and all crank triggered set up and yeah. it's a lot, man. You know, we had, we had to manufacture and change all these brackets to get, be able to put all this stuff on here. So we had to just go down and get stock and we have to make all our own spacers and all. and get all this stuff so we can even get enough stuff on there to line it all up. So, gotcha, yeah, so yes, that's a lot of, of work. Custom right, work, so, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't buy it, you just right. gotta make it, right. exactly. Huh? Well, very yeah. good, now, I'm sure the customer appreciates all that. Oh yeah, and then you gotta yeah. tell me, you gotta give me the dimensions of the frame rails, what they are, so we have to sit here with a straight edge and take the motor plate and be able to see if we can get it all to fit inside there, so right. we got it, but it don't work, we gotta redo it, we gotta you know, get it all where to actually fit in his chassis for him. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and what kind of car is he uh, racing I'm not with? sure what brand of dragster it is, but okay. it's, it's, it'll be in a dragster. Huh? Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Very good. Excellent. Well, Mike, we really appreciate you telling us a little about, about okay. this uh, 427 small block Chevy. All right. So, okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right.
Guys, that's been this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Mike and his team are doing here at Mike Ford Racing Engines. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.